protesters standing with Ukraine. I feel like we're a sleepy little peace group and I wish we did more. The Palouse Peace Coalition has been coming to Moscow, Idaho for 21 years to protest war. And now they're protesting Vladimir Putin's Russian invasion of Ukraine, nearly 6,000 miles away from the war zone. I'm pretty scared myself and the nuclear threats are just unfathomable. My mom was calling me saying that Andre, it was a missile like in 100, like 100 kilometers from us, from our home and, um, and we heard like everything. You just heard from Ukrainian Washington State University student Andrzej Zdrovchuk, whose family is stuck in Ukraine right now. He's studying to get his master's degree here in America, but he doesn't want to be in the States. He wants to be home with his family, with the people he loves. Maybe not with a weapon in his hands, but somehow he wants to help end Putin's war against Ukraine. I do something here. I'm trying to uh, donate money. I'm trying to speak with people. I'm trying to speak with you right now and so on, but I would love to be there. Andrei tells me his family is in a relatively safe area of Ukraine for now, but that's not the case for his best friend who is fighting in Kiev. Every day, every morning, every night, I'm just checking whether he posted the story or not. Relying on social media to make sure his best friend is still alive. Try to send him some good energy, however he would do it, prayer, or just thinking about him in a good way. Andrzej is grateful for protesters around the world sending support. It is kind of a sense of unity. It's unity against some war, against evil, all of the destruction and killing. Ava Wainhouse. If you are not standing against it, you're actually for it. Murrah, News 8.